We in the office. Just say it how you feel. Facts. Say it how you feel. Oh! We in the office. Oh! Happy Valentine's Day. Every day is the 14th. Welcome back. Welcome back to Say It How You Feel. And, you know, we got Valentine's Day right around the motherfucking corner. But before <laughs> we hop into today's content, welcome back, man. I'm Mo. I'm Say. And yeah, man, we just want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. It's, it, love is in the air. I can smell it. I can feel mm. it. Talk to them. I'm telling you right now, I've been seeing a lot of people getting real cozy and comfortable and mushy. Setting up, the, hey, setting it up, you know what I'm saying? They've been fucking up all year. Valentine's Day is the time to make it back, player. That's right. <laughs> she ain't gonna tell you no. She is not gonna tell you no. All right. So uh what we're gonna hop into first and foremost is um do do you give a fuck about Valentine's Day? Like, is that something that you do? Nah, not really. But um, I do believe that um, you know, things change, opinions change, feelings change towards it. But I me personally, I feel like <clears throat> Let me let me clear my throat. <laughs> I believe, you know, Valentine's Day is nothing really special. If you have somebody, you should take the time to do something. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's, it shouldn't be held at a high standard above everything else. You know, it's the little things, the subtle things that really matter. So I don't really feed too much into it per se. Yeah, I, I, I kind of feel the same way. I feel like, you know, the shit you do on Valentine's Day should not be a once a year type deal. Like that should be something that, you know what I'm saying, is happening on a regular basis if it's somebody that you love. You know, like if you, I get it, it's Valentine's Day, you want to go above and beyond and, you know, the rose petals and all, oh, I got you some flowers today. But nigga, that could be a Saturday any day of the fucking, you know, any any right. month that could happen. So it's just like, I've, you know, I, I've really dead ass feel like Valentine's Day is a conspiracy by the white man <laughs> to get us up. to go out and eat chocolate and get diabetes. That way they can make money off us in the pharmaceutical industry. Do, do you understand what I'm saying, brother? He's crazy, bro. It I'm is Black History Month, so. <laughs> <laughs> it is Black Stay woke, month. King. Stay Facts. woke, King. But yeah, Listen. man, that's just like Valentine's Day is, it is what it is. You know, we we try to do something just even if it's a date night, just, you know, where we could spend a little bit of time together, me and my wife. But, mm. you know, it's I really feel like the shit that happens on Valentine's Day can happen any day of the year. Like, it's it's not a big fucking deal. Right. I, I bet I, I, women feel a different way about that, though. Of know? course. I was going to say that. See, that's just our opinion, right? That's that's yeah. our opinion as men. But I do believe women feel a little bit differently. Like, oh, you know, what woman doesn't want to be showered with, you know, gifts and affection and love and thought of? I know it definitely does matter. That fucking on that one Tuesday, that one Wednesday where shit is rough, you know, she needs a break. Kids are acting the fuck up. And that's where you like, yo, I got it. You know, I feel like those weigh so much more than nice. one day that everyone knows is coming. And yeah. it, and it, there's some people out there, man, they plan they plan going back to October. <laughs> no, never. That sounds like it's coming. I'm telling you right now, I've seen it. There's people out there that plan so far out. All right, I'm not trying to be alone for Valentine's Day. Let me go ahead and set this shit up real quick. God it's, damn. Shit is depressing, right? Shit is sick. Yeah, that shit is sad. What it's, happens after Valentine's Day? Like, it's we'll like, talk right, about well, that next week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that next week. Promise you. All right. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, the big thing is, like, one thing I, I wanted to address, and it's been on my mind heavy, you know what I'm saying, just because of the season. Mm. Ladies, just want to let you know, as a real man, like, 100% and no fake no bullshit, like keeping it a complete stack. Pussy is not a Valentine's Day gift. Thank you. Glad I said get it. that same pussy 364 <laughs> days out the year. What makes it so special on Valentine's Day? I don't know. It's like you're more obligated. You know what I'm saying? It's like, do you even really want to give me this pussy today? Or do you just feel like because it's a holiday, you're going to give me some cooch? Like, that's. It's... I, I'm, I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that one. And honestly, that's another thing, too, right? Do I really need a gift on Valentine's Day? As a man, do I expect a gift? I don't really think it's like, I don't think it's a holiday for, for us at all. You it's, feel not. Me? it's not. It's not man. for us. It's really for women, you know? And then if, you, if you're being realistic, it's really for women, man. It's, it's, it's a time for them. But yeah. every day should be like that. Or every other day should be like that, you know? Or whenever you can, shit. Sometimes niggas just don't feel like he ain't in the mood to just be affectionate and be, and be you know, thinking about you all day. And there's nothing wrong with that either. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that either, you know? But- Valentine's Day is like a setup, dude. 
It's a fucking setup. And, you know, I feel like the, the big thing about this whole holiday thing is just making somebody feel special on Valentine's Day. You know, making your significant other feel special. I guess that the love, make them feel that love. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And some people feel like it's material gifts. You know, mm -hmm. that makes them feel special, you know, and other people may feel like it's a service, you know, uh, helping them out, you know, making them breakfast and shit like that. And, you know, uh, other people may feel like it's purely sexual, like you just be my fucking sex slave for the day. Like it's different strokes for different folks. I'm not passing any judgment on anyone. The Facts. main thing, though, is when it comes to this Valentine's Day shit. It's just feeling the love, even if you got to love yourself. Facts. Mm. I, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly, man. Another big thing, too, that I thought about was, um, you know, there's a lot of people that don't have nobody. Mm. And that kind of makes them feel some type of way. And also, you can have a friend as a Valentine's. Um, you can have uh, whoever means something to you, you. know, That's the person you think about and you love and care about. I feel like with this holiday, because of um, society and so many, so many different opinions and mm -hmm. stuff like that, people kind of gears it towards having a lover. But it doesn't, it, if you really think about it, it, it doesn't have to mean that at all. It's what it means to you. You know, so if it's a friend, if you and your best friend, y'all single, y'all rocking out, man, boom, there you go. Y'all Valentine's Day. Buy each other some chocolates and shit. Y'all can kick back and watch TV, right? Or do some shit to just chill and, and feel, um, you know, feel special, feel wanted, feel loved feel loved you know it don't have right. to be romantic you know Facts. it don't have to be romantic but you know with society it definitely that you right like it's it is purely based in romance you think about the color red what do you think of passion mm. you know you think of you know romantic shit you know i think of rage but hey you know to right, well, <laughs> hey different strokes for different folks some, some hoes like you. pepsi some hoes like coke you know it's <laughs> it's what it is i'm uh, fucking around bro i'm joking but, that's it. But, that's, you know, <laughs> that, when you think about, you know, the color red, you know, and we about to get spiritual hopping mm. into, you know, your root chakra. Mm. That's right. You know, right in your groin area. Mm -hmm. You know, what comes from the groin, a whole lot of passion. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's just like, you know, that color red, it ties into so many things. So when you think of the color red, you think of Valentine's Day, you think of, you know, the heart and the love and the lust. It's like it all ties in together. It all ties into the romance. So, you know, fuck that, man. Just love somebody. Facts. I, um, another thing, too, I was going to mention was, you know, I honestly do believe that Valentine's Day is kind of for like newly, newly couples, new couples in a sense. Right. Here's here's my explanation as to why I think so. Let's say less than a year or two. That's still relatively fresh. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, it's that time where your partner can kind of like do something they don't ordinarily do, or they may not have the opportunity to do because I doubt you guys are living together, seeing each other every day. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. There's if, if especially if you're working and schedules conflict, it's that time where you can plan something, you know what I'm saying? Or you take the time and show effort in a sense. Yeah. So I definitely feel like for, you know, for new couples or for couples that kind of have um, conflicting schedules is definitely where you should go above and beyond at least to, you know, to prove that you can or to show that you can, you know, and a lot of it's just effort, bro. You don't got to go out there and spend thousands of dollars. It's all about effort. facts. It, it is really all about effort. Cause you know, the one thing free game fellas is um, with a woman that really cares about you. That material shit is just really material shit at the end of the day. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? They really more so appreciate the time, the thought and the effort that goes into things. And I'm not just saying that just cause some niggas is cheap. You know, that, but they, they really do, you know, they appreciate that shit means more to them because it's like, instead of you going out and buying them something like a nigga really took the time to plan some shit, think of some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you did this cause you care, not cause you had to, you know? Facts. So, you know, you putting that effort in it, you know, you might fuck around to get your balls look for Valentine's day, brother. <laughs> or something else. <laughs> but, but a crazy thing too, that I noticed, um, so my boy, man, it was it wasn't Valentine's Day, but I thought this was the most um, it was it was a very sentimental thing that he did. And I was like, yo, that to me was like super dope. And I always commended him. I was like, I wish I could do some shit like that. Who knows? Maybe one day I will. But um, what he did was it was Mother's Day. Right. And he was like, yo, I really want to make this Mother's Day special for her, you know. So he was like, um, he's a chef. He's a certified chef, graduated from one of the top cooking schools in the nation. Right, actually in the world, to be honest with you. And um, what he ended up doing was he created like a menu, right? A dinner menu for her. 
And then he set the table up. He made it look like a restaurant. And then, you know, he was like a, like a waiter. He took her order, brought her food out. And I thought that that was so dope, you know? Hell yeah. And the way he, the way he designed it, what he decorated, I was like, bro, you got a, you got a soft side, my man. <laughs> you got a soft side for real. Out here being all sentimental and shit. Look at for you. real, man. I, and he, if you know him, man, I'm telling you right now, this motherfucker is gangster. <laughs> like this nigga is gangster. I'm, I'm telling you right now, he's if there's not, I would never think that there's a soft bone in his body. But like, I guess, yo, man, for your for your woman, there's nothing you won't do, man. And he definitely proved that. So I thought that shit was amazing. So you know, just little things, man. Little things matter when it comes to uh, Valentine's Day and just showing that appreciation. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm. Buddy Bruce Banner to his wife, but the Hulk to the world. That's dope. Mm. That's dope. So another interesting thing that I saw, I actually saw this yesterday. I want to give a shout out to Pat Poos. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, because I thought that when he said it, I was like, you know what, bro, I can connect with that. He's like, when you do find that, that one, he's like, you have to, you have no choice. If you truly love her and care about her, you have no choice, but to make yourself vulnerable. And then he like continued to further explain. He was like, Think of it like this. If you are putting her on a pedestal, he said, once you put her on a pedestal, he's like, you will truly see the potential she can go as a woman. Right. He said, mm. if you continue to put her first, continue to to show her like, yo, this is this is where you are in my life. He's like, how far she'll go for you and what she'll do for you is unmeasurable. And I was like, yo, it's that is insane. But he's right. And a lot of men don't think like that, especially like brothers don't think like that. You know, well, I can't yeah. speak for can't speak for everybody, of course. But, um, you know, for the most part, that is that's the concept that I don't see too often. I don't see a lot of dudes doing that. But then I also look back at, um, you know, my friends and like even you and other people that have relationships. And that's kind of how it goes. If you really think about it. Yeah. But, you know, uh, the one thing that we're ingrained, you know, kind of indoctrinated into as men. As you know, what I'm saying, uh, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. You know, don't put the pussy on a pedestal. You know, what I'm saying, like you, you lose one, you gain two. Like, mm -hmm. uh, that's the type of shit. You know, I don't know about other niggas, and you know, but I know me coming up and seeing, you know, the men in my family, really the men I looked up to, that was always the attitude. As you know, a woman is replaceable. You know, what kind of made me think differently about that was also seeing the duality in that situation is where I see that misogynistic kind of degrading attitude towards women. And then I see women who are amazing and who deserve Facts. the world and more, you know, deserve the fucking universe if you, you know, really want to be honest about it. So it's like me seeing that I always kind of play the middle field in that, you know, and uh there was a time where i was very uh very cold to some to some young ladies um <laughs> yeah, which i can't take back this shit like it may be the man who i am today i mean and then yeah. i found and i found exactly what Pap papoose was talking about there and yeah man it's, it's real like if once you find that one you put her up on the pedestal you know she's gonna she's gonna elevate to that position that she gonna go harder for you than anybody ever has, you know. So it's dope. Facts. It's dope, man. It's like it's crazy, you know, coming up and you can, uh, well, growing with somebody and you can see the way they evolve and the way they help you to evolve, the way they help you to change, you know. That with the when the vibe is right, it's combustion. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like science. Like it just blow up. So the the one thing that my whole reason for even going this route was to say, you know, as we talked about, like people plan, you know, all of this time just so they won't be alone mm -hmm. for the holiday. The big thing though was like, and me and you talked about this a few minutes ago here, was that a lot of people are so worried about being alone and you know fearing that they'll be alone that they regress. And That's fuck right. with somebody that they shouldn't be with or be in a situation where it's like, you know, that this is toxic, you know, this is detrimental, but you so worried about not being alone. You with this nigga you put yourself shit. in a worse situation. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And now you didn't got you. You was just getting over this dumb ass. And now you, now you <laughs> got your feelings right back up. You right. Know? Or, you, you know? know, you know, bro, what she all about. You know what she about. You know, you already know what she owns. She she chasing. She chasing the bag. Nigga, she not worried about you. But you know what I'm saying? Oh, she know that you got the bag. So, you know, go ahead. Yeah, you can take me out to dinner. You got mm. the tell you got the hotel room too? Oh, bet. Is it the suite? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> well, you know, since we're gonna be spending so much time together, I need my hair done, I need my nails done. Mm. I gotta get a new outfit. 
I mean, you speak in facts. I see all the time. I'm seeing it now. Like I was laughing last night. I was like, oh, that's that's funny. That's funny too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look but at you I, guys. You look so happy. <laughs> nah, listen, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm realizing too? I'm going to get to another point I have, but I'm realizing I really just don't want to be on social media no more. I swear to God, bro, I'm keeping this stack with you. Like, you know what's going on in my personal life, but I personally just feel like I don't want to be on social media no more. I don't. I feel like it's time consuming. I feel like it's uh, a distraction. I'm, you know, you personally know all the shit that I'm doing and working on. So I'm just like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to do it no more, bro. I'm like, eh, I'm about to just wash my hands with it. Like after this episode, I might go delete my shit for a little bit. Cause it's like, I see it and it's like, it's, 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 I don't know, man. I don't and know. Like a- another thing when it comes to you in particular with your social media is the minute you get happy, you know, what I I'm know the, like, it's I like, know, bro. It's always, it's, it's something, always something, it's always something, something which <laughs> it's is like, it's sad, but it is hilarious at the same time. Cause it's, it's like, not funny. Nigga. That it's shit like is not clock funny. work. It's like clockwork. Like the minute you happy, like, oh shit. I Here knew, we go. I, I knew I was smiling just a little bit too hard at that damn picture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's funny, man. I, it's I'm funny. like, I can't dogs. I cannot. And I'm just like, man, it is what it is. Fuck it at this point. But I'm personally just like, you know, like, fuck it. It's, I think it's corny. I think it's sack. I think it's cheesy. You know, I'm not judging nobody, but I see all the time. I'm just like, you know, you was talking so much shit, Clown so much shit about, about this individual. And then here y'all niggas are. Okay, whatever. Anyway, besides the point. So another thing I want to do talk about, though, like something I definitely want to address is, as we spoke about this, I think last episode or two episodes ago, I'm not sure which one, but I know we're talking about the one. If you know, like when you see that person, when you start interacting with that person, can you tell automatically that's the one? What do you think? When the fuck did we talk about that? I mean, we didn't touch on it that 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 okay. heavily, but um, I did mention like you'll like guys know when they see the one. It was about we were, I know we're talking about guys. Oh yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That was that was a few weeks ago. How do I feel about it? Yeah, I feel like it's because you was like you yeah you was like yeah. So exp- I want you to explain how you feel it's bullshit. Because nigga, like you know how. All right, so boom, here we go. Um, the thrill and the chase. You know, you, somebody could be everything you want when you're looking on it, looking at it from the outside, looking in. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, wow, wow, she perfect. She do this, that, she do that. You know, and it's like, yeah, like, oh man, it's just the chemistry, the chemistry. And then you get to know a person, and you like, I fucking hate this bitch. Like, <laughs> like she is fucking horrible. Yeah, she's great to look at. It, you know what? Uh, I think Joe Budden said it the best. He said, "For every bad bitch, there's a nigga tired of fucking her." You know? Facts. And I hate to, I hate to break it down to something as again misogynistic as that, but it, it goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? For you know, every handsome man that you see that you think got it all, like his wife hates him. His girlfriend can't stand his ass. Nigga ain't shit. So it's just like, as everything that glitters ain't gold. So, you know, somebody may be the one today, but if they are stagnant, don't choose to evolve, you know, don't choose to grow, or you guys grow in separate paths, you know, it's like they might not be the one tomorrow. You know, people change like the seasons. So it's just like, you don't know. So I don't believe in that, you know, you see somebody in there to one shit. I, I really feel like the one comes with work. It comes with dedication. It comes with uh, commitment. You know, it's not, this shit is not a fairy tale, bro. Like that shit does not happen. It, it's a one in a million. You, I think you got more of a chance of being struck by lightning, you know, than seeing the one and they actually be the one, you know, mm. it takes work. Absolutely. I, I'm not disagreeing with that. One thing you did say that I completely agree with is the growing in the same path, right? Because if you if you both have different goals and different dreams, then it's like, uh, it's there's no point, right? Yeah. So I do or if believe... they're not supportive of your dream. So you guys True. don't see eye to eye, like you don't see a way to correlate, you know, a way to work together. Like, okay, I know that's what you want to do. I hate to cut you off. I know that's no, what you want to do, you know, and I, I fully support that. But, you know, it's like saying, you know, one person is a cop and the other person is a fucking bank robber. Like, yeah. Like <laughs> would be a yo, phenomenal di- uh, dynamic duo, by the way. Great dynamic duo, <laughs> but eventually paths are gonna cross and some sticky shit gonna happen. And That's then right. you know you gotta you gotta choose. So it's like it's just I don't know, man. I, I just I don't I don't believe in that whole like um nah. But that, that shit ain't that shit ain't reality. 
I, I listen. So I'm gonna tell you this. I do believe that, you know, you can meet an individual. I'm not saying love at first sight, but I, I'm, I am saying that you can meet an individual, you can connect with an indiv uh, individual or someone. And you can say, yo, you know what, I can definitely see myself with this person. Right. And as time progresses, of course, you start to you start to realize like, yo, this this really could be that person for me. And I do believe that there nothing is coincidental. Fact. Nothing is ever coincidental. So all those heartbreaks, all the all the trauma, all the bullshit we go through in life, it gears us up for the next specific moment or the next event that's supposed to happen. Right mm. now, we also do have control of where we can go and how we can do things. That is our free will. Right. But I do believe every event, everything that's going on is planned and coordinated. And you can't tell me with all the hard work that people put into anything, it's not going to pay off. What you just said there, mm -hmm. and you know, stop me if I'm reaching. Mm -hmm. You feel as though that what's written is written. Fate is fate. Yes. Okay. Definitely do. I definitely mm -hmm. do believe that. Can you change your fate? Absolutely. Any given time, you can change it. Any given time. But everything that you went through had its purpose and served its purpose. You got me? Okay. Oh, when I say the word fate, mm -hmm. I look at it as like, that's predetermined. This was there before you made those choices. That's when, when I say fate, that's what I mean. It's like the, the, the future was already determined before you made the choices that led you to that point. Mm, at the same time, right? And I, I know this sounds kind of crazy, but if you're looking at it from that aspect of just, because this is a Valentine's Day episode, if you're looking at it from the aspect of love, right? Or relationships or just being with someone, every decision that you make definitely does affect that relationship, whether it's good or bad. Fact. Right? Something so simple as communicating your feelings is a huge deal. And here's another thing that I realized too. Just because you say how you feel doesn't mean that's what it is, <laughs> right? Yeah. I want to make this, I want to make this very clear. The show is called Say It How You Feel. And the reason why you say it how you feel is so you can express what you're feeling. That doesn't necessarily mean that's what the situation is. It's just it's how it makes you feel. always open to interpretation. Correct. Or uh, a further breakdown, right? Yeah. That's a fact. So I'm, I'm bringing all this up because I'm saying when, you, when you're doing certain things in a relationship, like I always strongly believe like early on in a relationship or when you, got, when you first start talking to somebody, you should definitely be uh, completely honest whether they take it the wrong way or not. And even if it makes you feel uncomfortable and easy, at least it is addressed. And then having that open communication, because as, lo as long as you're not making decisions that are going to change the entire course of that relationship, I, it can definitely work and it can definitely be a healthy one and a positive one. But it's all about that communication. And that shit is hard. It's not easy. It's a lot more yeah. easy to talk about it than it is, it is to actually do it because a lot of uneasy and uncomfortable things. So I take that and I go back to, um, you know, being that one and I'm saying having that, we'll call it destiny, right? Instead of fake, we'll say destiny, even though it's kind of one and the same. But I definitely do believe you can see this person. You guys are connecting and all these wickets are hitting, right? That's not a coincidence that they're all hitting. So from that point to three months from now, what happened? What changed? What was it? Because mm. you guys have so much in common. Everything was great in the beginning. And I, we always know relationships and everybody wants to put their best version of themselves, right? In the beginning of a relationship. So why not maintain that? If you were putting the best version of yourself, was it really you or was it an act? Were uh, you just trying course, to? I'm, I'm saying, of course, it was an act. Like, <laughs> mm. you know, it's like going to a job interview. You're going to walk in there and tell the motherfuckers, yeah, I'm going to be late coming off every break every fucking day. You know, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm very punctual. You know, I, 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 I love people. My communication skills are great. You know, and, you know, and sometimes you, you just got to be a member of the team. And then you get to work and you're like, fuck you, John. I'm not doing that <laughs> shit. That's your fucking job. Why the fuck should I have to do it? You know, so let me ask like... you this. This is great. I love that. I love the fact that you brought that up. Here's my question to you. Keep it a stat. Am I the type of person, me, am I the type of person to tell you any one of those things you just said and not do them? No. Um, and Wait, okay. You maybe, are not everybody. I, correct. I am not everybody, right? I am not everybody. Absolutely correct, right? Let's say I, I'm not good at math, right? Mm -hmm. And I say, hey, I'm going to apply for a math job and I get it. Can you do math? Yeah, I can do math. And I know I'm going to have to work my ass off to get it, right? Is it, it's me acting, but if I'm doing it, if I'm actively doing it, what, what, what do you think is going to happen? I just talked about this, right? Hard work. There's no amount of hard work you're going to put into something and it doesn't pay off. So right. if you were putting your best foot forward and you're, and you're, you're doing that, why stop? 
That's because, my Because, nigga, that takes time. That takes extra effort. That takes energy. When you that get in a relationship, when you, take, when you get in a relationship with people, you know what I'm saying? And this is all relationships, mm-hmm. you know? It does take that work, but you do get complacent. You know what I'm saying? And all in all things, someone get, you you eventually get complacent. You know, that mm. hunger is not there. The fire is not there. Maybe you're going through something. Maybe you're stressed out about something else and it's taken away from the energy you could be putting into this. And that's when when times get hard. That's when the true colors show. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when somebody exposes their real self to you, you got to believe it. That's Yeah. And that's that's also where it's like, OK, is this really where I want to be? You know, is this the person I want to spend? That, that ugly side of that person is can I deal with that for the rest of my life? Mm. You know, interesting. That's that's what makes shit. That's that's where the, that's where the work comes in at. But you're right. I give you the I give you the hard work and I give you the time. So I kind of, if you really think about it, in this conversation we're talking about, I feel like we're both saying the same thing, and we're kind of meeting in the middle. Yeah, I feel like that too. Yeah, because you're right. It is going to take time, and you definitely can meet a person and be like, damn, you know this is the one and this is the way, you know, <laughs> like this is, I'm with it. Let's do it. If I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. Sometimes I don't, I don't owe nobody an explanation to, you know, me not fucking with you and not dealing with you or, you know, how I feel about certain situations. I think, Damn, you know, person- that's out cold. <laughs> nah, bro. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to sound cold. I'm just being real. Like I'm being honest. I'm being You're cold honest. as ice. Cold Can I be? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> bitch, I don't owe you no explanation for shit. <laughs> Listen, grown ass man. Can I be cold? Yes. That's not even a fraction. Nothing. That's, that's not even a fraction of cold. Okay. That's not. I, I think that's me just being real. I'm being yeah. real with you. But my, the point that I'm making when it comes to that, <laughs> <laughs> the point that I'm making when it comes to that is at the end of the day, bro, you you just know. I really do believe you know. And a lot of guys know, like, oh, yes, I'm definitely locking this one down. There's guys out here, you know, getting chicks pregnant on purpose just because they feel like a child will lock them in. Or like, yo, I know for a fact, you know, she ain't going nowhere. Like, this is it. But that's, in fact, what you just did was you created a bigger rift, right, and a bigger wedge than you than you ever could by that's, doing that. Because kids does, don't, man, yes. that make it make things it, it don't make things easier i could tell you that it's not mm-hmm. that it makes things harder but it's definitely another obstacle Facts. and uh but i wanted to hold up take mm-hmm. a couple steps back here <laughs> into the coldness aspect of things you know what okay. i'm saying and like not 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 really hopping into it like that but just thinking about like when you said like i don't owe i feel like sometimes i don't owe an explanation for it you know why i feel this way and that shit reminds me of uh when women say shit like you know what you did yes like if i knew what the fuck i did <laughs> you think like i'll be I asking you it? like yeah, yeah. Like, just tell me what the fuck is wrong no way i can fix the shit no nah, because you know what you did look tell okay, me yeah you no, you're right you're right i did it whatever it is i did it on purpose just because i wanted you to be upset about it like bitch that shit don't make no type of fucking sense so i hate that you know what you did dumb shit like communicate your feelings and that's why i looked at i laughed kind of hard at that one because it's like yeah i don't owe no explanation i can just cut a motherfucker off and just you know and it's like well what if somebody is like damn like what the fuck i do <laughs> like, <laughs> you just you you're just you that's why like was that that's, is that is that a good enough explanation like i i, I just wasn't feeling it what were you feeling? It <laughs> just wasn't feeling it. Sorry. Listen, I'm gonna keep it aside. I can I can communicate my feelings very well. I can I can communicate to the point where I'm just like, I'll tell you what it is, right? I'd rather just spare your feelings and spare the energy that goes into that and just not fuck with you at all to keep it a stat. I'd rather just do that. Or I'd rather just remove myself. But for those listening, because I know many people probably listen and take this shit personal. Um, I'm just really busy these days. I have a lot you know on. what you did. Nah. <laughs> no, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> That was not directed to anybody in particular, I swear. I'm just letting you know, like, in the jokes. past. It's jokes, yeah. guys. It's jokes. In the past, there's been people, like, I just stopped fucking with them. But that's why. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not talking about nobody um, remotely within the last year and a half. You know what I'm saying? Two years. So no shots being fired. I'm not throwing shade because I'll just say that shit how I feel and call you out by name. But, yeah. So it ain't, I ain't talking about nobody in particular. I'm just saying in general, you know, moving away from certain relationships or moving away from certain things, like it is what it is, you know? Yeah. Charge to the game. Exactly. You know, charge to the game. I know, like, for me and my boys, um, my other boys, you know, single boys, they just be like, oh, listen, I'm not looking for nothing serious. Or I'm trying to see where it goes. And that's the truth. Like, who the fuck wants to just jump into a relationship 
unless you feel like yo this person's the one facts and and that's why i strongly do believe like you can meet somebody and truly be like yo this like this is i got a really good feeling about this and, you know this. when and you you talking about that spark like you know what like i I guess I kind of do. I, I I don't really believe in the love at first sight thing, but mm-hmm. I do believe in that spark. Fun fact, you know, when me and my wife first, you know, met each other, like it wasn't like a like, oh yeah, you know, it's us. You mm-hmm. know, it was just like, all right, what's up? Like <laughs> she said, so she said some dumb shit to me. Uh, I I used to give people fake names all the time, especially females, because uh, you know I I wasn't planning on you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, yeah, I got she you. Like, she's like, what's your name? I was like, my name's Mo. And she's like, what's Mo short for? I was like, Maurice. And she's like, can I call you Ma? And I was like, uh, bitch, no. The, the fuck. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> the fuck, like that shit was completely turned me the fuck off. I looked at her like, who the fuck? But what do you, you think know, you after- are? Nah, yeah. that's funny. Ma? But um, after that, you know what I'm saying? Like we fuck around and linked up, and it was, it was, it was a vibe. Like, and it yes. was, it was a spark that was there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? After we linked up, but that initial interaction was like, uh, no, the fuck? <laughs> who the yeah. fuck is she? Like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> Here's another interesting thing too, right? And um, you know, going into this whole this is that time of like love and and passion, all this other stuff. I do believe um sex plays an integral part into uh that connection, right? Strongly believe that. Like no one's gonna no one's doubting that, no one's disputing that. However, I also do believe like waiting just a little bit also helps. Facts. Right. Facts. Because I'm being honest, if you like, let's say second day, third day, boom, you're at it. And you haven't really had the time to like spend to um, get to know each other. Yeah, it definitely does complicate things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It complicates things because it's like, OK, cool. Now I fuck it. So it's like, ah, we know what we want. Right. And it could be amazing or whatever the case, but it needs to be something more than that. Right. Can y'all sit down and watch a show together or can y'all can y'all vibe? Um, Can y'all have a full conversation about something that has nothing to do with the either of you two? Facts. Mm, good one. Good one. That was that's a good one. Who does shit like that? When does that even come up? Right. But can you? Because there may come a time where you need to. Can you? Yeah. When you talk about spending a lifetime with somebody, that's a lot of fucking time. It is a lot of time. It's a lot of time. It's so, you know, communication and being like really liking the person that you're spending this time with means a whole lot and if it's just purely an attraction or purely sexual then you know as y'all going you, you can only do so much fucking you know facts and that shit gets damn. tiring too and I boring. say man listen <laughs> listen to me man I, I'm, I'm matured so much i'm so growing up now this man is different i'll damn, tell you right man. now this man is different <laughs> he's 30 that's what it is he hit 30 that that shit just clicked everything was like oh here we go you gotta really fuck with the person that you fucking with, you know, Facts. and it, in today's society, you know, we want all this instant gratification. And another thing is these fucking phones, these phones yeah. and texting, mm. you know, communicating over written text instead of talking to somebody, letting somebody hear your voice, letting somebody hear the, the fluxion in your tone. You Facts. know, it's like, it's, we, it's, it's becoming such a lost art. And then you have the metaverse coming. it's virtual reality shit. I feel like it's the, what's real, and what's illusion is going to be very be, hard. It's going to be line. a line. Exactly. It's going to be a line that's going to be blurred. It's going to be mm-hmm. hard to differentiate between the two. So, you know, finding a real genuine connection with somebody, finding a real genuine love is really, you know, what this Valentine's Day. And again, it's not about just romantic, you know, real genuine love for somebody is really what I feel the whole Valentine's Day thing is about. And I believe in a thing called love. Mm. Facts, man. I, I will say this, though. I'm, I'm going to keep it a stack. And I think I've always said this, and um, I, I still hold this uh, in high regard. Um, when it comes to, let's say, like a single mom or like single fathers, right? Because I know I know a few, and they're damn good ones, by the way. Shout out to y'all for doing what y'all do every day. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, I, I want to say, like, you know, it's hard finding somebody, right? And I think a lot of times people don't talk about this shit, but accepting kids with the relationship yeah absolutely bro like i i, I agree 150 percent. if somebody don't fuck with your kids or they show you that they not really into kids like that then maybe that's not the person for you or my dog if you hit her up and she don't never have her fucking kids mm. what you think is gonna happen with your kids 
red flag. You know, it's like she she oh well oh, I, I just hate my baby daddy. Like well bitch I'm gonna be a baby daddy eventually. Like is that you gonna hate me too? Right. You know. So it's like or you know he don't never have his kids because he he can't stand his baby mama. Like mm. that's no that's no excuse not to be a parent just because you don't like the significant other there. I get it. You know, some people make things a lot more difficult for you, but it's your baby. That's your kid. You got to fight for your child. You got to fight to be a part of their life if somebody's trying to keep you from that. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's either me, it was either you or my babies. So that's right. Try to keep you from my babies. I'll take you from them before I let you take them from me. Facts. <laughs> hey, I, I'm not I'm not confirming or denying that. I'm not supporting any type of, I'm not condoning violence. I'm just saying that's real shit. That's real shit. That's the type of attitude you got to have when it comes to your kids. And if that person don't have that type of love, that type of conviction about their kids, then I would say what is going to happen when you have a child with that person, you know? Facts. It's a red flag, man. See the, see the signs and move on, right? And then that, and, and that's it. And that's what it comes down to. But, you know, again, um, going back into this about, you know, Valentine's Day and the significance of it. All that stuff plays a factor. And we brought up kids, right? You know, kids definitely, I definitely think that um, it's a, a holiday more so for them as well. You know, in school, yeah. they make you bring snacks and stuff like that. But it, it's showing kids how to be, you know, generous, courteous, and thoughtful, right? I, I think the biggest thing to take away from Valentine's Day is the thought, the, the mm. thought of thinking about somebody else. So I love when I see, like, kids bring in, like, little cupcakes and stuff like that to school. And, they're you know, they're writing cards or they're doing stuff like that because it's showing them how to be, to think of others. And I definitely do believe that if we thought of others more often, I think this place would be a lot better. The world would be Facts. a lot better. Facts. And it just kills me that this is only a once in a, once in a year thing, you know, right. other than Christmas, you know. But this is mm-hmm. it's a it's a once in a year thing, and it, it sh- this should be a lesson on a regular basis is, you know, being thoughtful and caring you know, about other people and showing love to other people, you know? Facts. So with that being said, I feel like this was a great episode. I agree, man. I agree. We definitely touched on a lot, you know, we, lots of process, but at the end of the day, love somebody, right? Whether love it's your mother, somebody. cousins, whoever, just love somebody. Go out there and think about somebody, you know, let them know, hey, I was thinking about you. Happy Valentine's Day. And you right? know what? And even if, you know, you don't necessarily have somebody else to love, love yourself facts you know love yourself first and foremost you know look at how far you didn't gain you know look at mm. look at the shit that you've done or you know even if you ain't shit look at you know like look at the positive side of things you know what i'm saying like hey thanks you, you made it to 30 that's <laughs> hey right. you that's know, right you got a lot more life to live so you know it's just about loving your current situation and the words of my dog mr j cole love yours mm. facts no such thing in this life that's better than yours. No such mm. thing as a life that's better than yours. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys for tuning in and listening to us every week. Thank you guys for the support. That's you guys showing us that you love us. So we Hell want to yeah. say thank you. Happy Valentine's Day to say it how you feel. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Hey, y'all be safe out there. Strap up. Y'all make sure y'all take y'all pills and do what y'all need to do because somebody going to be doing some bucking out there. We know, we know yeah. this. Stay safe. Stay safe. COVID ain't the only thing you can catch out here in these streets. So (laughs) always remember that. Facts. But for say how you feel, I'm Mo. I'm Say. And we appreciate y'all for tuning in. We love you. Catch y'all next week. Peace.